Luckily, all the items you'll need will be household items, probably things just laying around that you can readily put your hands on. Let's keep hygiene first, guys. The toothbrush that you use should be new and it should be used only for lip scrubbing. This step is probably the most important. It brushes away loose dead skin cells and prepares your lips for the next phase. The next most important step after brushing is rinsing. You're rinsing away the dead skin cells that you loosened up and brushed off. Also, the warm water reinvigorates and causes good blood flow to the lips. The scrub is also really, really important, but please note, be super, super gentle. This could tear your lips if you're too rough. And torn lips are not smooth lips. Torn lips are painful lips. Sidebar, that scrub is really yummy. Once you've rinsed thoroughly once again, your lips should feel really smooth and they should feel really good and they should be glowing. Now we're going to prepare to apply the foundation to further smooth out the lips, give them a very even tone and start building the foundation for a super duper smooth lipstick application. With this particular lipstick application, I'm gonna use two different, you see that? Hmm. Every time I take the top off, I need to sharpen. That's where the sharpener comes in. Anyway, two different liners, a cranberry and a chestnut brown. Blending the two together will make the perfect line and a seamless foundation for the next step, which is lipstick application. If you don't know me by now, you will never, never know me. <laughs> Get your cotton swab and start blending, you guys. Yeah, my light turned off right there. I had to turn it back on. For the sake of this tutorial and dramatic effect, I chose a red lipstick so you could see just how smoothly the application was. But any color, every color will look good with clean, fresh, smooth, glowing lips. The whole point of the, that smells really good. It actually smells like cocoa butter, by the way. The whole point of the tutorial is to make the lips prepared to receive a lipstick application so that the lipstick stays on, it applies smoothly, and it looks super, super great once all is said and done. Great, we achieved our goal. No chapped lips, our lipstick went on smoothly, and your lips are gonna look great all day long. Thanks again for joining me on another episode of Tisha's World. And remember, be brave, be bold, and always try something new.